welcome to the queues unit in this unit we are going to look at the definition of this data structure called queues then we will look at some of the operations that we can perform on this data structure and later we will look at various implementations of this data structure before we actually define the data structure queue let's look at a real life example so let's think of a ticket counter right here and a queue of people standing to buy tickets at this point if a new person comes the new person will join at the back of the queue and not at the front right that's what we observe in real life now if i name this first person as head and this last person as tail any new person that comes will join from the tail end and not the head end but when this person gets a ticket this person will exit the queue from the head end and not the tail end please notice that when we were talking about stacks in this container like stack whatever was entering last was exiting first in the case of a queue whoever is entering first is exiting first and whoever is entering last will exit in the end this kind of a data structure is called fifo which means first in first out this person who enters first will get the ticket first and will exit first the person who enters last will get their ticket in the end and exit last in case of a stack we noticed that if i have five books the fifth book is put in at the end but will be taken out first this kind of a data structure is called lifo last in first out this is the major difference between a stack and a queue like we imagined a stack as a container we can also imagine queue as a container but in this container whatever goes in first comes out first whatever goes in last will naturally come out last so just like we define for stacks queue can also be implemented as either an array or a linked list if i want to implement queue as an array suppose i have an array with six elements here if i want a queue to be six elements long i can maintain a head pointer and a tail pointer initially both of these will be pointing to the first element suppose i insert one element then a second element then a third element so my head should be pointing to the first element that i have right now and my tail should be pointing at the last element that i have right now at this point let's define some operations for queues so like we define push and pop for stacks in queue we can either end queue an element into the queue or we can dequeue an element from the queue end queue means putting an element into the queue and dequeue means taking an element out of the queue so when i end queue an element i will end queue an element at the tail end suppose i want to end queue this new element call xyz this element will be enqueued at the tail end i will add xyz here and i will change my tail pointer to this element because this is the last element that i have in the queue right now but when i try to dequeue an element i don't dequeue it from the tail end i will dequeue it from the head end so when i dequeue from this particular queue the first element that will get dequeued is this element which is 1 i will dequeue this element and i will increment my head pointer to the second element similarly if i want to implement queue as a linked list i'll have to do exactly the same thing when my queue is empty i will enqueue my first element i'll make a node enqueue my first element and my head and tail pointers will both point at this element when i enqueue another element 
I'll make a new node. This node will now point to the new node and my tail pointer will move to this node. Similarly, I can keep on enqueuing new and new elements. At any point, if my queue is four elements long, my tail pointer will be pointing to the last node and my head pointer will be pointing to the first node. In this case, when I want to dequeue an element, the first element that will be dequeued will be one. So when I dequeue this element, I will first shift this head pointer to the second element and then remove this node. 